Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. New games with new legendaries and new questions to ask and thonk about. One of those questions I had to ask is why Maridon can fly? Why can it even hover? What is it about this Pokemon's flight qualities that is based on something within the realms of science and realism? Maridon is a super far in the future techno cyberized version of Coridon, the flying jet Pokemon that hovers at times mysteriously and is capable of supersonic speed. Speeds that exceed the speed of sound and if you traveled this fast, thinkers, you would encounter a few problems. Whoa! What was that? Clearly this hyper-futuristic mecha-like Pokemon's jet engines are based on an airplane, a fighter jet to be specific. What's more mysterious though is Maridon's ability to hover with these jets in spite of such a tremendous weight, but what if I told you it isn't just theoretically possible to hover like this, but this so-called far distant Pokemon's technology is already possible and used even in today's current technology. Well, thinkers, let's buckle up and kick this video into Mach 5 speeds because this intro's already taken too long to set the premise and I'm running out of time here, so let's get to the point of what I was saying. Whoa, damn, that was fast. Anyway, as I was saying, oh God, I'm gonna be sick. So as I was saying, Maridon's jet bike appearance and hover abilities. What is it? How does it work? Like what upright? What do I even mean by this? Off the ground? Not tipping forwards? Spiraling forwards forever? Or tilting laterally? Well, all of it. Fighter planes have to control what is called the altitude. That being roll, pitch, and yaw. Yep, that's right. These three things comprise the altitude. Goose, goose, come in. Can you hear me? Uh, do a barrel roll. No! Rolling into the next question, we really need to ask, what is it about fighter jets like the Harrier or the F-35B Lightning II that allows them to hover during takeoff or landing? Don't they need a runway? Doesn't Maridon need a runway? Well, no, because they can take off vertically by hovering above the ground first. The system or systems they use, similarly a system Maridon would be mimicking, is the VTOL jet system or the Stovall system. System. VTOL stands for Vertical Takeoff and Landing. These jets just take off using vertical lift only. Stovall stands for Short Takeoff and Vertical Landing. Jets that have the Stovall system can take off and land vertically by hovering and also take off using a runway. Best of both worlds, I guess. Both of these systems use really powerful jets of air pushed in either direction to control the balance of the aircraft's roll, pitch, and yaw whilst hovering and through biomimicry, a process in which nature mimics technology, we see Maridon achieving the same effect to hover. The F-35B has four points of control in which to stream its powerful jets of air. Maridon has three points, however. These points are dynamic and unidirectional as its back legs and chest can move around quite freely though. The physics behind this hovering effect is astonishingly simple, but the engineering is a feat of aerodynamics. Let's just say a Stovall jet bike Pokemon, Maridon is hovering. How its three points of airflow control pitch, yaw and roll so that it can hover instead of continuously backflipping or barrel rolling or just going straight up Beyblade is as simple as Newton's third law, action and reaction. That is, all forces have an equal and opposite reaction. In detailed explanation, when a force is exerted and imparted on a medium aka object, that medium or object will impart back a force as well. This is in part why it hurts when you punch a brick wall. Now how this relates to jet engines and hovering cybernetic Pokemon is as simple as this. When Maridon uses its three streams of air to hover, it needs to balance out the force exerted from each stream of air as that air imparts force in the direction the jets are aimed at. As that air hits the ground, or even the air molecules, it is receiving back an equal and opposite force in reaction to the air force. 
A Stovall jet like the F-35B has four jets or four points to exert force with powerful airstreams and can stabilize forces in each of the directions roll, pitch, and yaw to hover. Now, in the case of Maridon, it has three points, and this can technically be made stable by forming a tripod for three even points of force to allow for vertical takeoff or hovering. I guess a question to ask next is, how could it travel in a forwards-like manner? Well, okay, say Maridon is hovering and wants to tilt forwards and start moving. All Maridon has to do is change the angle of its rear jet slightly and exert more air pressure. If Maridon needs to turn, it simply can angle its arms and feet on the jets to resist the air, as well as tilt its body using a jet of air like a Stovall jet does for hypermaneuverability in the air. Yeah, that's right, Maridon has feet. If you look very closely, you can see them. Maridon really doesn't have a need for its feet though, as uh, we can see it mostly wants to hover, but clearly they fold up and fold out to serve as landing gear as well as uh, appendages. Hmm, appendages. That is a weird word. Anyway, doesn't the yellow lines across Maridon's body and tail remind you of fuel lines? More specifically, maybe plasma? A form of electrified air? And an F-35B does have a turbofan engine with fans inside it to create its own forward thrust. Maybe Maridon uses electrical fields to create its forward thrust. Just speculation and an idea that popped in from a Patreon community member. But I figured I'd put it here because it fits the electric dragon or electric flying aesthetic neatly. Anyway, thinkers, if you enjoyed this video, let me know your thoughts in the comments below and hit that like button and subscribe. If you want to support the channel's content monetarily, you can join as a member on Patreon or join on YouTube. Both will get your name in the credits and behind the scenes access. Now, before I head out, be sure to share some of that love and support around at my partner's Instagram at ElfSpringArt. Additionally, Elfie is now open for commissions publicly. So if you want something created, again, head down to their Instagram page. Give them a follow. Love ya, Elfie. Thinkers, have a big brained, funky day, and be sure to think safe out there. Bye bye.